know. I know, I know, I know. You might not know, but I know that it's been a while. The last few videos I put up were all filmed on the same day months ago. Also, I've got my hair up in a ponytail today, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that this means it's life update time. <sighs> life <laughs> happens sometimes, and life has been happening. And my go-to method of stress relief is not filming and editing and uploading videos. It's playing video games because it's one of the only things that fully distracts my brain from whatever else is going on. In December, I started learning how to crochet and that ended up being the unraveling of a relationship. But it was for the better. Definitely for the better. And I learned how to crochet. And I crocheted this. And I made this. And I made this. And this. And this. And I've been really enjoying it. So that's another hobby to add on to reading and playing video games and watching TV and other stuff. Also I got a Fitbit, which actually means that I've been reading more because I will walk around my apartment with a book or my iPad and read. So I've actually been reading a lot, which has been nice. As for what kind of things I've been consuming lately, I have watched all of Green Gables Fables now, and I watched all of Pin Dippy's channel, which is Jessie Cave, aka the girl who played Lavender Brown in the Harry Potter movies and was basically in love with one one. I think the last videos I made, I made in the winter time and now it's summer. It's like 95 degrees today. It's hot. And I also have a secret that only a few people in my life right now know, but by the time I upload this everyone will know. And basically I just got a new job. It's more in line with what I want to do with my career long term and I think I will really enjoy it, but it's still really scary. It's part-time, so I'll be staying part-time at my current job while they find and train my replacement, but I will be leaving behind a lot of really awesome co-workers while also leaving behind a job that I know I don't want forever, and a lot of other co-workers that aren't necessarily as awesome. So life is changing in major ways this year, including the fact that I'm going to be an aunt for the first time. My sister-in-law is due in November, and I'm really excited about that, and I just can't wait, and it's just going to be amazing. So basically that's what I've been up to, and that's what's been going on in my life. Just a lot, but it's doable, it's manageable, it's not that much compared to a lot of other people. But anyways, <laughs> I also wanted to talk to you about some books because that's what this channel is for. Another thing that I've been doing with my time recently is reading this book. And if you know anything about this book, you can imagine <laughs> what it's been like. I finished the entire process of tidying up, which basically means getting rid of anything that doesn't give you joy. I'm sure I was not as strict as I should have been, especially with books, as you can see. There's still a lot of them. But I did get rid of a decent amount of books, and of those I was able to get rid of a lot of them through paperback swap, so I've also gotten some in return. So without further ado, here are some books. I did a lot of time researching books that I knew I wanted and that were interesting. So the first one is The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. Sarah Waters is well known for being a lesbian, and I think at least some of her books are lesbian themed books. I don't know if this one is, but it's the one that I'm most familiar with that I've heard the most reviews about, so I think it's a good place to start. Next is Alana, the first adventure in the Song of the Lioness series by Tamara Pierce. I haven't read any Tamara Pierce before, and I know a lot of you are probably really big fans, so I'm excited to get into this. Next is Love Medicine by Louise Erdrich. I have read some of Louise Erdrich's books. Her children's series, 
of the birch bark house? Cabin? Hut? I don't know. I can't remember, but I really enjoyed it. I have it on my shelf. House. It's house. And the game of silence. <laughs> and I enjoyed those. So I think I will probably enjoy her adult writing as well. Next is Isabel Allende, The House of the Spirits. And when I was reading the description for this book, it reminded me a lot of Wuthering Heights, and I don't know if that's intentional or not, but Wuthering Heights is one of my absolute favorite books, and I've watched a ton of movie adaptations, so I think I will really enjoy this one. And lastly is Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys. When I originally bought this book, I thought it was Jean Rhys, some like French guy or something. No, it's a woman. Which makes it even better. And I read the Wikipedia article about uh, Jean Rhys, and it was fascinating. She had an, an incredibly interesting life. And as a fan of the Brontes and Jane Eyre, I'm really interested to seeing this perspective of things. This is, if you don't know, a telling of Bertha. And that's what I'll leave it at if you haven't read Jane Eyre. So those are some of the books I've acquired from Paperback Swap recently. Let me know if you've read any of them, and I hope you all have been doing well. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching.